Hey y'all, so I wanted to do a quick little video here showing you how to peen the pins on knife handles. I've got this handle glued up with West Systems G-Flex Epoxy and pinned up with some brass pins. So with the epoxy, you've got a chemical bond, but when you peen your pins, you've actually got a little bit of a mechanical bond as well, and it just helps keep that handle nice and tight on there for, uh, for as long as possible. So I leave my pins a little bit long. They didn't have to be this long, but you take them to the grinder and grind them down really, really close. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I only left these pins up about a 32nd of an inch. So let's go to the grinder and do the other side real quick. You want to be careful not to get them too hot like that. It's better to grind them slow or dip them if you need to, if your handle material is, is water resistant. Um, you can heat your epoxy up and cause it to melt or break down and not hold as well. So just want to make sure you don't get it too hot like I just about did right there. It wasn't too bad. So that's about what we want right there. Just a little bit left over, maybe a little less off of this side. something that's got a good solid base on it. I think this was a roller out of an old uh, track hoe or something other, I think is what it was. That's what I've always used as my anvil for peening these pins. I have a ball peen hammer here. I polish the head, doesn't necessarily have to be, but it does make it kind of spread and flow this brass pin a little bit better, in my opinion. So uh, another thing you have to be careful of is this material will be fine. This is Rich Light or Rick Light, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, and it shouldn't crack, but woods that are prone to cracking, if you start doing peening these and mushrooming that head out, you're, you run the risk of potentially cracking your scales, which really sucks. So that's something to keep an eye out for when you're doing woods that are prone to crack. So let's give it a shot. You want to keep your pin resting on the anvil on that 32nd of an inch stick out on that pin. And that gives you direct force straight up and down when you're peening this side and it'll help kind of compress that pin a little bit from the bottom as well and keep you from driving the pin through and breaking your epoxy bond. Just go around in a circle around the pin, break that corner over don't take much pressure. These are 3 32nd pins. Eighth inch pins are a little, they take a little more work. They're not necessarily harder. They just take a little bit more work. You just pin that over. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but actually this is the first time I've used this polished pin. I've used this hammer a bunch, but the first time I've, since I've polished it. And it actually kind of polishes the brass. Kind of neat. Um, it's not going to change anything because I'm going to grind these handles and stuff, so the, the surface finish on this is going to change, but it is kind of neat. It's kind of a, uh, like a, uh, like the texture of a diamond with all the little facets and really shiny because of that. So, cool. Just continue peening that out. In this instance, you're not relying on the mushrooming of the head to be your mechanical bond. That would be better. But since you grind handles and you cut contours into them and that sort of thing, you will grind that head down. But what you've done is just by the smallest amount, you've compressed that pin a little bit and caused it to swell just a tiny bit in the holes that it's in, creating a bit of a mechanical bond. And also that swelling is why you can crack other, other handle material as well. So just be careful. <laughs> Peened handle with a chemical bond and a mechanical bond, ready to be finished, made into a knife, put on the table, sold, make a dollar. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, gun stuff, outdoor stuff, bushcraft, knife making, that sort of thing, I'd really, really appreciate it if you give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.